Time to talk badminton now on the score here on Highland as we look ahead to the European Championships which are taking place in Kiev in the Ukraine next week and departing among the Irish party will be a number of Donegal players as we know from uh, the town of Rafo. One of those is Sam McGee. Sam, you're welcome to Highland Radio once again. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Sam, of course, you're one half of the, the mixed double duo along with uh, your three-time Olympian sister, uh, Chloe. These Europeans next week, they're, they're a big competition for you guys. Yeah, they're crucial. Um, they've got big Olympic points and I mean, myself and Chloe are seated seven. So we really want to put on a big performance and it's really been our focus for the last three weeks. We've put a lot of effort into it. So let's go and see where we're, our level's at now. Yeah. Just before we talk about Europeans and, and the Olympics, maybe you'll, you'll give us a, a summary of how the year, the strange year has, has been for you since you came back at the Danish Open and you did get a couple of good results uh, along the way, particularly at the, at the All English Championships. So uh, so what's it been like over the last couple of months for you, Sam? Um, the first, uh, we, we were locked down. We didn't have any Bampton in the first uh, lockdown at all, but we were lucky Sport Ireland could get us back on court and... Um, yeah, we had a few tournaments there, but it was very strange not being outside Ireland, just you know, training amongst ourselves. Uh, I think our form's been pretty good. You know, we, We're just taking each tournament as it comes because you never know which ones are going to get cancelled and which ones will actually go ahead. Um, but overall, we're very happy that we're allowed to train. We're very happy that the uh, Irish Sports Council has done everything they can to keep it safe for us. Um, it's not ideal traveling in these times, and we, we don't feel that comfortable doing it. But um, I think our situation, compared to a lot of people out there, we, we have it quite good. Do you feel lucky that you're that you're allowed to play sport because there's a, a lot of sport not happening at the moment, Sam? Uh, we we feel so like uh, it's such a privilege. We feel um, you know it's a little bit spoiled because you can see a lot of sports, even Gaelic and things. Guess they they can't go ahead and uh, the big sports events can't. So we feel very lucky. We're in a bubble where we just are in our training and we're going back and forward to training and we go to the Irish Institute of Sport for our physio and weight. So uh, we're absolutely blessed and we have to be thankful for the Irish Sports Council and the Irish government government for giving us the opportunity um because it is hard watching other countries that but the lockdown is different and they're just training away as normal um so we're lucky that we're we've got a level playing field in that regard yeah you and Chloe, of course have medals at european previous european championships um and you of course have won at the european junior championship as as well taking a gold medal but as for this next competition for for, for you guys can use pull off a, a massive result. As you said, you're ranked seventh. Can you get, get another medal at European level, sir? Yeah, I think we have to pull the rabbit out of the hat here. I think um, Europeans is the one tournament where me and Chloe have always played above our level. So it's a good omen. You know, I think it's the one time where people would never say the Irish are going to get a medal. And we've done it now twice and or three times we've done it. So if any other tournament, I would say, you know, it'll come down to factors. But I think if there's one week where we always string good results together and, uh, I think Europeans is the one. We could also, we've got a tough draw. We could also go out in the first round, but I've got a good feeling that we're training well and playing well. And of course, you know, it's that Europeans is just always brings a smile to your face when we're going there. Yeah. You did, of course, play very well in that All English Championship. We, we beat the, uh, the 11th ranked team in the world. Is that right? Um, so you know that you can take on some of the best parents uh, around? Yeah, that's what we have to use. We played probably. Probably some of our best band than ever in, in Birmingham in March. So we have to use that form going in. Um, that being said, we'll need that form because if we get to the quarterfinal, we're playing the English pair that are number 10 in the world. So they're also a similar level. And we need to play our best band to win. But it's a good feeling knowing that we have it there. It's uh, at our fingertips and we know the level's there. We just have to get it out on the courts in Ukraine. Yeah. It's all, of course, been targeted as well towards Olympic qualification. And there's a lot of factors involved in qualifying uh, for the Olympics, but one thing you do know is you need a, a good performance at the European if you're if you're to stay on track. What is required then in the next number of months if, if you and Chloe are going to make uh, Tokyo? Yeah, there's there's so many factors, so I can't say definite results, but anything less than a quarterfinal at Europeans would really you know derail our Olympic qualifying chance. So every tournament now we need at least quarterfinals, I think. To stand a chance and then we have to just see how the other results go so um there's so many factors we could be chatting here for a day what would happen but we know if to make it our own chance we really got to get quarterfinals in all these tournaments and then hope for more and uh, that's all we can do is keep it in our own hands 
is that an achievable goal for you guys making quarters in the next four competitions if, if four competitions actually take place because yeah. of the possibility of some being cancelled too Sam yeah and the open just got postponed on Tuesday so postponed is I don't know what that means exactly it's just kind of keeping it on the calendar so um yeah definitely we can definitely make quarterfinals in these four tournaments um but that does require us playing our best badminton and once we get into those positions we need to make them count not just settle for quarterfinals we need to uh, push on but of course everyone else is in the same boat and they're pushing for the same points so um it's up to us just perform on the day and it's uh, easier said than done what's your feeling on the olympics well, will they go ahead, Sam? Because there's a lot of conflicting reports. The IOC say, yes, it's happening, but apparently the entire country of Japan doesn't want it there. So what's, what's you and Chloe's feelings on, on the Olympics at the moment? Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to say. The news that we're getting from the Irish Sports Council and the Irish Olympic Council is that it is going ahead and prepare for that, uh, that it will happen. But my own personal opinion is probably that, you know, it's not maybe the right time even though it sounds a bit contradictory that we're going around all these countries and trying to qualify for it. Uh, in my heart, I think um, it would make more sense to maybe postpone it if they could, but I, doesn't, I don't think it makes sense to have it. But they seem adamant that it's going ahead and we just have to follow that guideline, to be honest. Yeah. Chloe, of course, has been there before. Uh, she's one of Donegal's most decorated uh, uh, Olympians. Uh, you haven't been to the Olympics before, Sam. Um, how big a blow would that be to you personally if this didn't happen this year? Because obviously that's you can take your European junior medal and your European championship bronze medals, but if you're a sporting athlete, the Olympics is, is the pinnacle for, for a lot, and I'm sure that, that's with you. It would be a bit of a hammer blow to you if it didn't happen? Um. I would be disappointed, I'm not going to lie, if I don't make an Olympics, but when I look back on my career and some of the things I've achieved, I'm uh, really content with that. Um, if it does come that we don't make the Olympics, I'm happy with uh, putting Ireland on the map with these European medals, doing things that it never seemed possible for Irish BAM to maybe 10 years ago, and um, I'm happy with my career. I'm going to give it everything to try and get to the Olympics, but if it doesn't happen, I don't think I'll be overly disappointed of course i'll be better about it for a while but i'll just have to get over it and accept that i've had a really good career and i've been uh, very lucky and blessed my whole career yeah well, we're all hoping that that it works out for you and then and you do make the olympics this year let's go back now to the europeans uh, obviously leaving on thursday for the competition which starts next tuesday uh you and chloe aren't the only siblings from from Rafo that's that's going to be involved we've got rachel darren and josh mcgee in there as well yeah uh yeah i think They've only recently come into these bigger tournaments and um, they're both starting to improve. So they've been around myself and Chloe this whole training camp and uh, I think they're starting to play well. It'll be a great experience for them. I don't think they'll be targeting medals, but um, it's it's a good stepping stone for them to be in a years to come to be looking to get medals. And it's you know they're going to be up against higher ranked, better opposition. So fantastic opportunity to go and see where their level is. Yep. And... Can Ireland pull off medals, including obviously yourself, but is there is there other options there as well, is there? Yeah, I think um, our biggest possibilities is uh, myself and Chloe in the mix, and also Nat in the men's singles will have a long shot of a medal. Um, it's not easy to get these medals at European Championships. You know, the big countries want to come and dominate, like Denmark and England and France, and they put a lot of money into band and a lot of resources. So to get a medal, yeah, it's a long shot, but, you know, if me and Chloe have shown anything can happen when you kind of get these run of results during a week. You know, you kind of build momentum during the week of a European Championship. So um, we're hoping for one of those special weeks again. Yeah, hopefully so. Listen, Sam, many thanks for talking to us and a, and a safe trip to, to the Ukraine. And we wish you and Chloe and the rest of, of Team Ireland the very best of luck. Thank you very much, Josh. Thanks for having me.